You have been hypnotized, conditioned by an educational system, organized in degrees or steps, which would supposedly lead to some final success. Educated in this way since childhood, you live perpetually in hope, in the expectation of tomorrow. We are therefore creating a type of human being unable to live in the present to, that is, unable to really live. All his education deprived him of this ability, because I was preparing for the future, instead of showing him how he is alive now. First the kindergarten or garden, then in the grades of elementary school, preparing you for the great moment of high school. But then, more steps, rising and climbing to the coveted goal, the university. Here, if you are smart, you can be indefinitely entering the graduate and becoming a permanent student. Otherwise, you are going step by the big outside world of family, business, and profession. However, graduation day is a very momentary achievement. For in your first sales meeting, you will be back in the same old system, being instructed to fulfill a quota. And if they do, they will give you a larger quota. And so it will progress the sales manager, vice president, and finally president, 40 to 45 years later. In the meantime, Insurance and investment staff arouses interest in retirement plans. This really final goal of being able to sit and enjoy the fruits of all your work. But when this day comes, his anxieties and efforts will leave him with a weak heart, false teeth, prostate problems, sexual impotence, confusing vision and poor digestion. All of this could have been wonderful if at each stage you could have fun as in a game, finding your work as fascinating as poker or chess. But for most of us, the day is divided between working time and leisure time. The work, mainly consisting of tasks that others pay us to do, because they are extremely uninteresting. Therefore, we work not on work, but for money. And money must give us what we really want in our time of leisure and fun. But every scheme is a vicious circle. Because when you earn the money, what will you buy with it? It is all part of the illusion that there must be something to be won in the future and that there is an urgent need to continue until we can. However, just as there is no time but the present and no one except the whole and the whole, there is never anything to be won. Although the pleasure of the game is pretending to be, this is a palpable, absurd. And since the task is never achieved, the individual is taught to live and work for a future in which the impossible will finally happen if not for him, at least for his children. However, unless someone is able to live fully in the present, the future is a scam. It makes no sense to make plans for a future that you can never enjoy. When your plans mature, you will still be living for some other future beyond. You never will never be able to sit with the total contentment and say, now I have arrived. The point is that the show is very fascinating. The world is a spell an enchantment. How to get lost in a maze, such a stunning rhythm and intriguing plot that we are attracted to a web to a state of development where we forget that this is a game. When it comes to awakening, that means to hypnotization, come to reason. But of course to do that, you need to get out of mind. Zen life therefore begins in a disappointment with the pursuit of goals that do not really exist. In a disappointment of a self that is no more than an idea, and in a disappointment that tomorrow never arrives, there is no tomorrow, will never exist, because time is always now. So what is the next step? What is the practical application? The absolutely vital is to consolidate your understanding, to become able to enjoy living in the present and discipline that involves. Without this, you have nothing to offer. So, and then. <laughs>